Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here, the question is, in the circuit shown in the figure, there are two parallel plate capacitor, each of capacitance C. The switch S1 is pressed first to fully charge the capacitor C1 and then released. The switch S2 is then pressed to charge the capacitor C2. After some time, S2 is released and then S3 is pressed after some time. Here are four options. The charge on the upper plate of C1 is 2C V0. B. The charge on the upper plate of C1 is C V0. Option C. The charge on the upper plate of C2 is 0. The charge on the upper plate of C2 is minus C V0. At this question is asked J E advanced 2013. In my opinion, this question is very confusing. Although it is very simple, but confusing. Confusing means why? Because these options are very close. And so therefore it is confusing. So let us first, we have to keep away this confusion by understanding this question. Here you can see that one end and second end, the battery is connected and its potential is to V0 and here V0. But their terminals are in opposite. Here positive and negative, here negative and positive. And C1 and C2 is connected. Capacitors and S1, S2 and S3 are switches. Let us first, S1 is pressed, then this capacitor C1 get charged. And what is the charge? Now it becomes charge Q equal to C1 V. V means potential and C1 is capacitor, Q is charge. And C1 and C2 are equal, uh, that is C, so we have put here C. And potential is given to V0, 2 V0 then total charge become 2C V0. In uh, first glance, the charge on upper plate of C1 is 2C V0 is given. So, Q equal to C V0 should be our answer. But, one thing, when it is not stable, because when S1 is opened, then this 2C1 is distilled and S2 is pressed then C1 and C2 become parallel and the charge distribution, this become CV0 and CV0. So therefore, they are equally distributed charge, CV0, CV0, right? Now, after some time, S3 is connected and S2 is loose, means this is disconnected. In first glance, this is CV0, but here the polarity change. And the polarity change thus, minus CV0, polarity change, then it becomes 0. You can see that the option should be C0 is 0. But one thing more important, initially it becomes 0. But after some time, we got continued connected. So this plate becomes minus CV0 because this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive. So therefore, finally, minus CV0 is correct, that is stable. And this is stable. The charge on the upper plate of C1 is, this is C1 is CV0 is constant and stable charges. So here and here that is the stable charges. This is unstable because that is few seconds. That is 2 CV0 and C0 is 0. That is not a stable but stable charges is C1 is CV0 and C2 is minus CV0. Okay. I repeat it again, 
here you have given the potential to v naught and whenever we have to press key s1 then it become charge to c v naught but that is not a stable why when we have to leave this s1 and connect it to s2 then c1 and c2 become parallel and charge distribution law they are equally distributed then 2c1 becomes cv0 and cv0 is it clear when when s2 is leaves means it is disconnected then cv0 remain as it is and this cv0 this cv0 plus and for some time for some second this becomes zero and then continue this plate become negative cv0 and this plate become plus cv0 so therefore this is stable condition these two answers so therefore b and d here b and d is correct answer i hope so you understand this question thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you take care bye bye